Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel, I'm Two of the Car Guy, and today I just want to give you a little walk around this 1973 Mark II Toyota Corona Deluxe. Uh, I bought this vehicle about a year ago from Nikon at Japanese Steel. I went there just to visit Nikon and I saw this car in his lot and I asked him how much did he want it for and so the price was really good so I couldn't pass up on it. A few months earlier, I saw this car. I went and bought some wheels from this guy in Madeira, California, and he had this 1973 Corona with a 4AGE swap in his car. And the way he lowered it and everything with the wheels, it looked very sick. And so I told myself that I'm gonna look for a 1973 Toyota Mark II Corona whenever I get a chance and I find it, I'll buy it. I went to visit my friend Nikon a few months after that and I saw this car sitting on this lot. It was the 1973 Toyota Mark II Corona Deluxe. And talking about manifestation and it came true. So I, once I saw the car on this lot, I had to ask him, you know, is it for sale? And at that time he needed some cash for something. And so it was for sale at a very good price. So I bought it. And so I, I took it home and I haven't touched it since uh, December because I've been so busy doing the car shows and uh, getting other cars ready for other things. And so finally summer came along and I was tinkering with it and I finally got it started. Uh, changed new oil, uh, new, fresh new fluids. And yesterday it started up and it took it on the block. It's finally running and road worthy. Uh, so I just want to give you guys a quick walk around and as the weather gets cooler, I'll probably start working on it a little more and adding little things here and there. But let's go check it out. This is the 1973 Toyota uh, Mark II Corona. I got some Rotas on it that I bought from this guy in San Jose area. I actually drove up there and bought it for 600 bucks. I really love the rear, rear tail lights because it's straight, you know? That's what I like about it. And the paint here is all faded. It's just very Pantina. And then I was talking to some buddies uh, he showed me how to add more patina to it. So I'm going to do another video when I get those materials. I'm going to do a video on the patina. Interior is really cool. The dash is alright. One little crack right here. One big crack actually. But I'm going to take it to the upholstery, Antonio upholstery and have it rewrapped. And what I love about this car is the bench seat in the front because the shifter is right here. It's automatic. Uh, this is the emergency brake. Oop, I don't want it to roll. So make sure it's up. Thing is that these seats are so old, the material just cracks away. So I'm going to have it redone. New carpet, new headliners, new rear seat upholstery. Uh, Tony quoted me 1600 for everything, so it's been a few months already. So, if it's close to 1600, I'm cool, you know. If it's a little more over, it's all right. I understand inflation, you know, hit everyone, so I understand. I understand that's the only tier, and some tear over there on the headliner on top of the uh, seat right there. But, and that, I like it, you know, I love it. Still very clean. The side, the side door panels are in great condition. You know, no rust. Just little things here and there it needs to be done. A little rip right here, but this is back panels cool, and I like how they have the, the logo right there. That's sick right there. That's sick. I'm probably gonna keep that. Hopefully. Just have not refinished this and keep that thing right here. When I first got it, it was really dirty uh, because it's been sitting outside a lot. But I vacuumed and cleaned as much as I can. Just a little crack here and there. From the weather, but eventually I'll have all these replaced. Oh, it just broke off. Cool, and the Corona Deluxe logo. What I did so far was I took off the, uh, the bracket bar and I cut it off and shaved it. Pushed back the bumper back a little more so it's shorter eventually i'll have to get like a little chin spoiler it looks sick so if you're interested in buying something for your car and you don't want, don't want to spend extra money to fix the whole headlamp you just buy the stained glass spray from Krylon. you can order from amazon or go to michael's craft store and get it so i'll show you guys the motor okay so this is the motor right here Everything is basically stock, so it has the stock AC components, which could work with some little work. 
I did change the battery and posts right here. I also changed the fuel filter, but I think it's time to change again. The way how it looks like, it might crumble. I changed the distributor cap, wires, plugs. I did the oil change. And my goal is to get this little light bulb here working, maybe next week. Take the radiator out and upgrade to a Mishimoto uh, radiator. Of course, change the uh, hose right, it's kind of bulging already, which is not good. I put a new coolant right here. The last owner put like, some big old huge O'Reilly or AutoZone coolant reservoir right here. It looked really ugly, so I took that out. And I ordered it from Amazon. It's about $39 for this little coolant. Uh, it's cool because you get to see the levels right here. An old school carburetor. Maybe later on I might just do some Weber. But for now it runs good so I don't want to mess with it. And of course you always want to add a trickle charger to your battery. So when you're parked it for a long time, you just plug this into the trickle charger and it maintains the battery for you so you don't have to keep on replacing batteries. Yeah, so this is my 1973 Toyota Corona, my Deluxe Mark II. I'm looking forward to getting this project running. In a couple of weeks, I'll probably take it to either David or Leroy to help lower it for me because I don't have, just don't have the time to uh, do the work. And I can support their business. At the same time, they free up my time to do other things that are more important. So, and that's a win-win for me and the mechanic. You know, support their business and it's helped me save time. Yeah, I cannot wait to see it lowered and see how it looks like. I think it's gonna look really gangster. Or SSR, Star Shark on it or something that's, Japanese uh, gangster looking, you know, so.